Hi there. In today's video, we'll be learning how to create a simple magazine article in Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. Let's begin with creating a new document. And since this is a magazine article, let's select the print tab here. And then let's explore other presets by clicking on view all presets. And I think I'll go with a four size. Uh, portrait orientation is good enough. Let's give our document a name. So let's name it Sample Magazine. And uh, I think I want my unit to be inches and make it uh, three pages document as I will need two full pages for this article and uh, let's set the bleed to 0.125 so 0.125 is good enough and then create the document since I'll need two complete pages for this article, I'm going to utilize pages two and three for this tutorial as they're facing each other. I guess before we begin, let's go to layout and then margins and columns and set the margins to 0.4375. Now I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle covering both the pages. And from the toolbar on top, I'll change the stroke weight to 6 points. To avoid moving the rectangle accidentally, I'll select it, right click and then lock it. You can even use the shortcut Command L on a Mac or Control L on a PC to lock it. Next, let's insert columns to our pages. So let's go to Layout, Margins and Columns and add 5 columns and uh, change the gutter or the space between columns to 0.1875. Now the first column needs to start the same distance from the black line as the distance highlighted on the left. So let's unlink the margins and for inside and outside margins, let's allow InDesign to do the math. So let's just put asterisk 2, which is multiply by 2, right after our digits. And InDesign will set the margins automatically. To add some horizontal guides to make it easier to divide the layout into thirds or quarters for a better visual alignment, let's go to layout and then create guides and change the number here to the number of guides you'd like to have. I'd like to keep the number to 3 as I already have the layout on mind. You can choose more or less depending upon the requirement of the layout. And I'd also change the cutter to 0 as I need individual guides. Now I'm going to mark up my design so that I could easily add my content later. So let's select the rectangle frame tool from the left toolbar and I'll need a frame for a landscape image on the left page so I'm going to drag the frame to fit my image then I'm going to make another one on the right page for a portrait image I'm going to drag and occupy space for my image number two much like that you can always resize the frame by holding command on a Mac and control on a PC and clicking and dragging to the desired point so it's time to add some text so click on the text tool or just press T and make a few text frames. I'm going to make one on the right uh, for my subheading. So let's drag it to, to that size and then I will need one for my heading here. So let me make one here overlapping my image so let me click and drag to make my text frame for my heading much like that and I will need another one in the bottom just below my heading which is going to be the main text of the article spanning across four columns and I think I'll need one more here on the right page 
right next to my image number two much like that that should be good enough in fact let's make another one just below my subheading to discuss the subheading so let's drag another text tool here much like that that should be good enough or maybe let's take another uh, column for this perfect now using the selection tool I'll link my text tools barring the heading and subheading text frame so let's click on that small box there and I want this to link to the column on the right to the text frame on the right rather so I'm going to click on this once and then click on the text frame on the right much like that so it's linked now I'm going to click on this small box here of this uh, text frame because I want this to link to uh, to the last text frame on top and then click on the last text frame and they are all linked now when I right click and uh, fill with place hold the text you will find the text flowing smoothly between these three text frames I also want my text frames to be divided into columns as it will look much neater so let's first select the text frame and go to object and then text frame options and change the number to the number of columns the text frame is spread across so my first text frame is spread across four columns so I'm going to update it to four and I will also update the gutter size to 0.1875 and I'm going to repeat this process for the other two text frames as well it's now time to place our images to the rectangle frames we created so let's go to file place and place the image to our document right click on the image then go to fitting and select fit content to frame and you shall have your first image placed inside the frame and now I'm going to repeat it for image 2 as well now let's add a subheading so I'm going to select the subheading text frame first right click and insert the placeholder text since the text is too much for a subheading I'll delete uh, most of it I think I'll just keep two lines select the text go to character formatting control and change the font to Arial and uh, I think I'll change the font size as well to maybe 18 or 24 I think 18 is good and I think I'll also change the font color to red I think red should be good I'll also put a quotation mark just before the text like in a lot of subheadings and increase its font size Finally, it's time to insert our heading. So let's type in healthy lifestyle as our heading and adjust the font, font size and font color. And there you go. Your magazine article is ready to be published. I hope you've enjoyed the video and have learned something from it. So I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.